the Australian of the Year for 2015 is Rosie Batty. In February last year, Rosie Batty took her son Luke to cricket training, just like thousands of other parents were doing right across Victoria. The only difference was that Luke was murdered by his father on that night by a person who should have been protecting him. How I'm able to handle myself and how I'm able to comfort myself uh, 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 very probably things that I learned as a child when I lost my mum. Knowing the pain of losing something so suddenly and so dear to you. Do you want me to stop? I was um, <laughs> 40 when I had Luke and the last of all my family and friends to have a child and I guess people had expected that I, I wouldn't have one. Being a mother was the most fulfilling role I've ever had in my life. I loved it. Rosie Batty is the voice of 2014. And why? Because she is the one who's cut through, the one who has finally been heard on an issue we all need to talk about and very few want to discuss. Family violence. It's an uncomfortable issue. It's a painful issue. And now because of some terrible event, we've got a person in Australia who can actually speak about it and be heard. I think she's remarkable. This woman just walks out of her house and sure enough, it was Rosie. She spent almost 25 minutes, I think it was, telling us the story. And that was not just what happened to her the night before or how her son was taken away from her. It was what she had endured for years and years and years. All the pain, all the anguish, all the suffering. What I didn't realise is when I began to speak to the media after Luke's death that the family violence statistics weren't well known by anybody. When I say that one woman in three is affected by family violence and one in four children, you know, that, that means, you know, every um, barbecue you have or every public event you go to, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you can look around the room and know that one woman in three is affected by family violence in some way. Well, you know, the most powerful tool we have is our voice. And what Rose does is speak out. And we were all awestruck, I think, by the way she did that. We owe an enormous debt of gratitude to Rose for using her voice, for being so gutsy and courageous and resilient and strong and powerful. When you are in a violent relationship, it doesn't, you know, you, you, you may not be free and you may not be safe. And people are living like that on a daily basis. What makes her so fascinating is that she's able to simultaneously inhabit a place of the most unfathomable grief and at the same time be devastatingly effective as an advocate for change. I've never seen that in any other human being. Very soon after Luke died, I created the Luke Batty Foundation, and my intent is that this will help women and children affected by the trauma of family violence. Women and children in our state will be safer because of her advocacy. So I would hope that over the next few years, she'll look back on with pride about the safer community that she's helped create. If I can make a difference to someone else's life, if they can draw some strength, I hearing what I say and knowing that I'm speaking on their behalf, if that can give some people the, the um, impetus or the confidence to, 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 to realise that they, they deserve better, they deserve more, give me a lot of hope.